Hello Tigers, tonight we are going to read another story by Sandra Markle and this one instead of T-Rex teeth is what if you had an animal nose? So let's see what your life would be like with an animal nose. What if one day when you woke up and looked in the mirror the nose on your face wasn't yours? What if overnight a wild animal's nose took its place? If you had a taper snout, you could catch a home run ball, even with your hands full. A taper is a plant-eating animal with a very handy nose. Its nose moves and bends to grab leaves off of a branch or push fruit into its mouth. Its nose is joined with its upper lip. It bends and moves so well because it's made of muscle. Once a nose is that big and movable, it's called a proboscis. Here's a fact. Tapers eat at night. So they bend their noses in all directions to sniff out food in the dark. If you had a rabbit's nose, your twitching nose would show your school spirit. So there's some motion lines here showing that her nose is going up and down. This is a cottontail rabbit and a rabbit's nose is packed with smell sensors. A rabbit nose and rabbit noses twitch for many different reasons. A rabbit wiggles its nose up and down to pull more air in when it sniffs. That helps it find food or tell when hungry hunters are close so it can hop to safety. A rabbit's nose twitches faster when it's interested or excited, sometimes as many as 120 times a minute. Here's a fact about a rabbit nose. Rabbits have long, sensitive whiskers on either sides of their nose. These whiskers help rabbits feel if a space is big enough to squeeze through, even in the dark. If you had an elephant's trunk, you wouldn't need to go to a water park in the summer. An elephant's nose may be the most useful nose on the planet. It's so long and special it even has its own name, a trunk. An elephant's trunk can sniff smells from lots of directions, even from up high. It can lift and carry something as heavy as a big log. An elephant also uses its trunk to pull in water, as much as two gallons at a time. Then it sprays a drink in its mouth or gives itself a shower. Fact. The tip of an elephant's trunk works like fingers. It can pick up something as little as a peanut and pop it into its mouth. <coughs> if you had a grizzly bear's nose, you could sniff out all of your favorite goodies and only trick or treat at the best houses. A grizzly bear's nose is packed with smell sensors. No wonder this bear is a champ at tracking down food, sometimes from over a mile away. It needs to find and eat all the food it can before winter. That's when a grizzly bear goes into a deep sleep called hibernation and usually doesn't eat at all. The smell sensing areas in a grizzly bear's nose are a hundred times bigger than a human's. If you had a warthog's nose, you would never need anything but your nose to build sandcastles. A warthog's nose isn't pretty, but it's a perfect food finder. First, the warthog uses its strong sense of smell to sniff out the underground roots and bulbs it likes to eat. Then the warthog rolls its nose around to dig into soft soil, with some help from its tusks. Finally, the warthog uses its nose to lift dirt out of the hole until it finds the roots or bulbs to munch. Here's a fact. Warthogs greet each other with nose-to-nose -nose bumps. Kind of like a fist bump, but a nose bump. If you had a saiga's nose, you would never notice when a room was dusty. A saiga, or saiga, is a sheep-sized antelope with a proboscis nose. Its proboscis is lined with hairs and snotty mucus, making it perfect for filtering out dust. That's important because a saiga's homeland is often dry and dusty. Herds of them live together to kick up and kick up a lot of dust traveling in search of grass to eat. Here's a fact. These live in parts of Russia where winters are very cold. Its big nose heats up the icy air as it breathes in. If you had a star-nosed mole's nose, you could find a midnight snack without turning on the kitchen light. A star-nosed mole is a small burrowing animal that uses its nose to find dinner in the dark underground and sometimes even underwater. The star-nosed mole uses its nose to smell, but it also uses it to feel for food. Its nose has 22 fleshy rays around the nostrils. These are always moving. And quick as a blink, the mole knows if its nose touches food, like a worm or an insect. Here's a fact. To smell underwater, the star-nosed mole blows bubbles and then sniffs, pulling the air bubbles into its nose, nose past its smell sensors. 
If you had a rhinoceros's nose, you'd be the perfect bodyguard. A rhinoceros is the only animal with a horn on its nose. It's made up of layers of keratin, the same stuff that human hair and fingernails are made of. Male rhinos use their holes to duel for mates. Females use theirs to guard their babies. Besides having a horn, a rhino's nose has a keen sense of smell to find leaves and fruit to eat. They can also sniff for enemies like lions. A baby rhinoceros isn't born with a horn, but one soon starts growing and never stops. If you had a giant anteater's nose, you could go scuba diving without a snorkel. What looks like a giant anteater's nose is really its upper and lower jaws joined together. His, its nose is on the tip of this long tube. This nose is perfect for poking into hard-to-reach places to sniff out yummy insects like ants and termites. A giant anteater also uses its long nose like a snorkel when it goes swimming so it can breathe underwater. When it smells insects, the giant anteater flicks its super long tongue in and out quickly, as many as 160 times in a minute, and eats bugs by the thousands. If you had a Borette's horseshoe bat's nose, you'd catch every fly that tried to spoil your picnic. A Borette's horseshoe bat's nose makes it a super nighttime bug hunter. Like other bats, a Borette's horseshoe bat hunts by snorting high-pitched noises out its nose and listening for echoes of anything around them. But most bats shoot sounds in every direction at once. The shape of this bat's nose channels the sound so it can pinpoint exactly where to snag an insect. To save energy, a Borette's horseshoe bat often hangs from a branch while snorting noises. When an echo signals an insect is nearby, the bat flies after it. If you had a hammerhead shark's nose, you would always know the best places to fish. A hammerhead shark's nose is only for smelling, not for breathing. The shark swings its head side to side, forcing water into a nostril near each eye. Because its nostrils are so far apart, the shark can tell if a fishy scent is stronger to the left or right. Then it tracks down dinner. Here's a fact. A hammerhead shark can smell blood from wounded prey as far as half a mile away. A wild animal's nose could be cool for a while, but you don't use your nose to spray water or dig in the ground. You don't need your nose to catch flies or to be a snorkel when you swim underwater. And you'll never grab anything with your nose, no matter what. So if you could keep a wild animal nose for more than one day, what kind would be right for you? Luckily, you don't have to choose. The nose on your face will always be a people nose. It will be what you need to breathe and sniff all the scents around you. It's the perfect place to rest glasses if you need them to see better. Best of all, your nose is just what you need to look like you. Here's what your nose does for you. Your nose starts with nostrils, which are two openings for air to move in and out. And inside are passages lined with hairs and coated with mucus or snot. Together, these catch dust, germs, and pollen from plants that could bother your lungs or even make you sick. Then you sneeze or blow out what your nose catches. Meanwhile, the air you breathe in also becomes warmer and wetter. Way up in, inside your nose is a postage stamp size patch packet packed with scent sensors. These send signals to your brain, which let you know what you are smelling. At the same time, the air travels down to your throat, to your windpipe, and lungs. So your nose is the main way for you to get the air you need to live as well as to smell the world around you. Your nose needs you. For your nose's sake, you need to be careful what you breathe in. Stay away from smoke and try not to breathe in fumes from harsh chemicals. If you live in a place where it gets cold, like here in Michigan, cover your nose with a scarf to shield it from chilly air. If you live in a place where the air is very dry, place a humidifier in your home. That will help you make the air you breathe moister, which helps to prevent nosebleeds and colds. And if your nose feels clogged, blow it gently. All right, I hope you enjoyed our What If You Had an Animal Nose book tonight. Have a great night, tigers.